I I guess the the latter is uh, correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he he in my mind he is a giant. He is he is the uh, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1970. Um, hmm. to give me his full name again. It's Hannes, H-A-N-N-E-S. Yeah. And and you can tell me the pronunciation. I have a very good friend whose name is Siegfried Ingvesen, mm -hmm. who I said, Siegfried, how do you pronounce this fellow's last name? It's A-L-F-V-E -E accent N. Uh, and Siegfried said, well, that's Alvian. Alvian, yeah. say Hannes Alvén. That's okay. probably great, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, you know, that's interesting because it seems to be a lot of uh, um, a lot of th these people within this field because uh, another one that is maybe not that um, uh, lost in regards to his name but, but almost uh, f forgotten, I guess, it's uh, Emanuel Velikovsky, right? So how, how does his well, kind of well, research... Yes and no. Uh, Velikovsky was not electrical engineer or electrical scientist or even, a, I wouldn't say, a scientist in the hard sciences in any way. He was a uh, more of a, of a historian, a myth, mythologist. Um, he was very enmeshed in, the, in Judaic history. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, well, this, uh, let me, I'm just giving you my opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, he is, uh, was very, very, very uh, badly treated when he wrote his books, uh, the, the big one, Worlds, what is it? Worlds in Collision. Uh, there was uh, Earth in Upheaval. There were several others, I guess. Yeah. Um, in, in my opinion, at least in the opinion of Wal Thornhill, whose name you mentioned, and Dave Talbot, yeah. and Eduardo Cardona, and oh, a bunch of the other uh, of our uh, group, uh, he, he was totally poorly treated, hmm. but most of what he said unfortunately was wrong <laughs> oh. but hmm. one of the things that what he hmm. where he wasn't wrong uh, in our opinion at least mm -hmm. is that he was the first um, oh I guess modern if you want to talk about 1950 or so as being modern hmm. uh, person hmm. to say that the earth has gone through some severe cataclysms yeah. in and even in within man's uh, historical memory. Yeah, sure. And that is in the last, within the last, oh, 10,000 years, something like that. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, 
becoming more and more obvious and more and more accepted that, yes, Earth has had a, a very violent history from time to time. There's been five, as you probably know, major extinctions. Yeah. Uh, the one that people uh, talk about is the extinction of the dinosaurs, and there's this uh, sure. theory of, uh, who is it, Alvarez, that said that there was a, a comet or an asteroid or something hit the Earth, and there was this total worldwide catastrophe and yeah. what killed off the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. There's a great uh, controversy about, well, is this true, or why did the dinosaurs die? And yeah. Of <laughs> course, then I ask him, and why did it happen four times before that? <laughs> yeah. It's been going on, and, and, and Velikovsky did get that right, I think. Yeah. But as far as his ideas about, oh, the planet Venus being born out of the red spot in Jupiter and that sort of thing, people, mm. I think, pretty much have said that, that no, that's not right. Mm, all right, yeah. He, he, as I say, he was not really a scientist. He wasn't an electrical engineer. Alvain, by the way, was uh, uh, an, an electrical engineer, worked for one of the Swedish power companies. And how he got into this was, uh, as you know, Sweden has some of the highest voltage transmission lines uh, in the world, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, I, I didn't know that, that ours were so so high. But oh, yeah, there, you, I guess, as I understand it, uh, Sweden was primary in high voltage DC transmission. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, if you trans, try to transmit power from the hydroelectric stations in the north down to Stockholm and Göteborg and places like that, mm -hmm. uh, you need to be very efficient in how you do it. And so they went to high, high voltage. Mm -hmm. As a result, they had all sorts of arcs and sparks and explosions and switches <laughs> that didn't work. And Alfian became very interested in this yeah. and realized that these these phenomena that were so ruinous to the power transmission uh, there uh, were really plasma phenomena. Hmm. Uh, I should say phenomena. And yeah. uh, he studied them and uh, and then began to see a, a sort of an application of that work in in high power transmission to what uh, astronomers were beginning to see in the sky. And hmm. Once you see these that these patterns are the same, you can begin to make progress. Somebody once said the the best scientist is the fellow who's able to know something about two different areas of science, and when he sees a problem in one area, uh, mm. and realizes it's kind of analogous to a problem in the other area that's already been solved, hmm. he can say, ha-ha, I know your your answer. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's pretty much what Alfie did. Ah, okay, very, very interesting. And uh, but by the way, j just one thing that came to mind here, the, does this have anything to do with stuff like uh, ball lightning and, and these kinds of things? Oh, well, very much so. Hmm. Uh, yeah, ball lightning used to be thought of as being um, some, uh, oh, I don't how should I say it, a kooky thing that didn't really exist, only yeah. believed in by um, people who were either very strange mentally or had, who had had too much to drink. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's not at all the case. Uh, the... Uh, the uh, 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 the physics society here in in the U.S. and I think probably in, in, around the world is beginning to take a very very close look at ball lightning, hmm. and they recognize that it is a very very real uh, phenomenon, and it is it is plasma, absolutely. Hmm. And uh, uh, you know, Alvain once said that uh, you can analyze plasma by all sorts of uh, tensor equations and uh, and differential equations and integrals and and somehow the plasma doesn't either either it doesn't understand the mathematics or it's too clever and naughty a child to obey it <laughs> <laughs> so uh, plasma acts in very 